Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can make your titles a little bit visible inside of DaVinci Resolve 18 by contrasting them with either a stroke that surrounds the text or a drop shadow. So first off, make sure that you have a title added onto your timeline, probably in video track two. And then on your video track one, port your background that you want to contrast the text against. If you are just showing white on black, then Obviously, nothing needs to be done there because it already has the maximum amount of contrast. But as soon as I re-enable video track one, you can see that it isn't quite as easy to see the text. Still pretty clear, but we can make it even better by using stroke or drop shadow. So if you click on your text and you go up to the inspector while you're on the edit page, you can look down and you'll see stroke and drop shadow as options for basic text. So we can expand stroke and you'll see that the default color is black. So all you would need to do is increase the size here. So when we increase the size of the stroke, it's going to take the edges of our text characters and eat a little bit at the inside changing the edge colors to whatever we have our stroke color selected as. So you can increase this all the way up to 16 if you'd like a very thick stroke line, or you can have it as little as one pixel, which still gives a little bit of an edge here. If you don't like that, you can reset your size and change to drop shadow. So with drop shadow, you see it's automatically enabled, but in order to actually see it, you need to offset the drop shadow position from the original text. So this is how many pixels you want to move the shadow in each direction. So you can go positive X if you want it to go to the right or negative X if you want it to go to the left. Generally drop shadow is to the right and then down. So we want negative value for Y and a positive value for X. So the standard value would be you have a positive X that is equal to the negative value of Y. So positive 10 and then negative 10 for Y gives you a standard drop shadow look. You'll see that the shadow by default has blurriness. You can turn that off or you can increase it. But if you turn it off, then the shadow in the back is going to look like a perfect copy of the original text, which will make it very clear and easy to read. But a shadow would naturally have some level of blur to it. So you can increase that all the way to 100 if you'd like. Higher values of opacity are going to make it less transparent. So at 100% opacity, uh, for the areas that have no blur, let's turn blur off, then it's going to be completely non-transparent. If I decrease the opacity, then you can see some of the background come through. So up to you to decide your levels of blur or opacity. So those would be the standard settings on a text title. But you may be wondering if you switch to a text plus or one of the fusion titles that generally build off of a text plus title, how do you add the stroke or the drop shadow there? So let's add a text plus onto the timeline and I'm going to expand this bottom background so that it uh, will still be there for the part of the timeline where this is at. So let's take our text plus title. I'll just copy and paste the text from the first one and let's increase the size so it's visible on our screen and I'll change the font to baby snowy. So to get drop shadow on a text plus, you wanna go over to the shading tab. If you do select element three here, black shadow is able to be checked enabled here and then you can see the drop shadow there in the background you have a lot more options here to control it but some of the key ones are softness which is going to give you your blur so if you set softness to zero for both x and y then there will be no blur it'll just be a solid copy of the text in the background and you can change the position with the position category here offsetting the text so you can offset this to any position just like before you can make it negative in x or positive in y if you want and if you go down to size, you can make the drop shadow bigger or smaller than the original text for both X and Y if you want. For any property that you want to change back to the original setting, you can right click on the name of it. So this size X right here set to default, and then I'll right click on the Y set to default so you can get the settings back to the original. So as for adding a stroke or an outline to your text, you can do shading element, select element two. You'll see this is red outline by default. I'll check enable here. So by default, this is a red color, but we can easily switch that by going down to the color red and changing this to a black basic color. I might rename the element black stroke outline so that we know that we changed it and then go to thickness and increase this or decrease it as we need it. So once again, you can either use these in combination or you can go back to one and disable it. So if you don't want the drop shadow anymore, just click on black shadow element three and disable that. And I might decide I do want the softness on the X, Y for the drop shadow. So I'll just set those to the default. And then we have a nice drop shadow behind our text plus a stroke around our text as well. 
So if we compare that to the original, where we don't have the stroke and we don't have the drop shadow, then you can see that when you add the stroke and drop shadow in, it's clearly much more readable. So those are some options you have for adding contrast to your text, making them more visible for your title screens. I've been Chris. I hope that you found this video helpful for DaVinci Resolve 18, and I will see all of you in my future video content.